government's business was taken up on day 5 of the autumn session of the Meghalaya Assembly. The day began with question R. Maurung Kenang Emily Heaving Stone Karpuran placed a question in relation to the government's steps to initiate assistance to the two affected families of a fire incident belonging to B Karmam Noi and Rina Marbo. In his reply, Revenue and Disaster Management Minister Kerman Shala informed that financial assistance has been paid to the two affected families. In a supplementary query, MLA Celestine Lingdo suggested for availability of contingency fund for immediate relief at the disposal of every MLA. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma responded to the query, revealing that a cabinet minister had also proposed the same idea. The government has consequently chosen to pursue an amendment to the rules governing the SRWP fund. This amendment will enable MLAs to allocate a specific amount for prompt relief in the event of calamities. Legislators Arden Basayamon and Saleng A. Sangma also placed supplementary queries. In response to a query raised by Dadingri MLA Rupa M. Marak, Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Police Home Department Preston Tensong today informed that the government has plans to construct an office building for the police station at Damal Asim. Maupalang legislator Matthew B. Kurba raised queries over food inflation in the state. Food Civil Supplies and Consumer Affairs Minister Kaming Wan Umbon in his response stated that the government has taken steps to check the seriousness of food inflation. He informed that the department has instructed districts and subdivisions from time to time to carry out raids and inspection regularly to prevent hoarding and black marketing and to increase the prosecution and conviction rate and provide outcome of such raids. He also said that action is taken on reports relating to offenses under Essential Commodities Act 1955 and the prevention of black marketing and maintenance of supplies of Essential Commodities Act 1980. He also informed that monitoring of prices of essential commodities through price monitoring centers is done and action is taken thereupon. Ampati MLA Miani D. Shira raised a query in regards to the total number of consultants currently appointed by the government for different departments and specific projects. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma replied that the total number of consultants currently appointed is 124, of which 59 specifically for externally aided projects is 59. He informed that the total amount paid to all the consultants is Rs 22.56 crores. In a reply to a supplementary query, the Chief Minister stated that consultants are required in centrally sponsored schemes of Government of India and externally aided projects. He also highlighted that Meghalaya has been chosen as one of the states for a unity mall, a project for which the Prime Minister is allocating specific funds amounting to Rs 132 crores. He informed that Meghalaya is among just three states in the country that achieved this milestone within a six-month time frame, which he attributed to expert guidance for submitting the proposal promptly, ensuring timely fund allocation. Nongkram MLA Arden Basayamoid, Maurung Kenang MLA Heavingstone Karpran, Maulai Legislator Brightwell Star Marbanyang, Leader of Opposition and Malayam MLA Ronnie V. Lingda, MLA Saleng A. Sangma also placed supplementary queries. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Transport Sngyob Halang Dhar in response to a query placed by North Shillong Legislator Adelbert Nongrum informed that taxi permits in Shillong are for the time being kept in abeyance for better regulation. He informed that no restriction will be adopted to receive strict tourist taxis entering Shillong City as flying of tourist taxis cannot be restricted under para 4 of the terms and conditions of the All India Tourist Vehicle Permit. Not Shillong MLA Adalbert Nongrum then moved a zero-hour notice to the news item published in East Mojo under the caption, Meghalaya's Cherry Blossom to be held in November. Tourism Minister Paul Lingdo in his reply stated that events and festivals are central to Meghalaya's tourism strategy. He informed that the last Cherry Blossom Festival in 2021 attracted approximately 45,000 attendees, of which over 25% were tourists, equating to more than 10,000 tourists in just three days. He informed that the estimated expenditure for the festival is Rs 8.49 crores and the government is sanctioning Rs 1.99 crores and the deficit target is to be met through ticket sales and corporate sponsorship. The next business taken up was call attention. Nongkrem MLA Arden Basayamoid called the attention of Chief Minister Conrad Sangma to the news item published in the Shillong Times dated the 20th of August 2023 under the caption Living Standards in Meghalaya Lowest. Colon, data. 
In his response, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma referred to a news article published in India Today on August 18, 2023, titled India's Decade of Disparity, colon, an in-depth analysis of NASA's latest poverty index. He explained that the article relied on a combination of government data and satellite imagery sourced from the Socio-Economic Data and Applications Center to access deprivation. According to the report, SADAC assigned a higher weightage of 60% to satellite imagery components, a method he pointed out as unconventional and not typically recognized as a measure of poverty and deprivation. The chief minister also highlighted that this report has not been covered by any other major news outlets apart from India Today. While acknowledging the need for improvement in various socio-economic and sustainable development goals, he assured that the government has been earnestly working to address persistent issues. Furthermore, he shared specific details of the improvements accomplished over the past five years. Health Minister Dr. M. Amprin Lingda then laid a statement relating to a call attention notice of Notch Long MLA Adalbert Nongrum on the captions, State Open Quota MBBS Seats Not for Outsiders, Health Minister. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma laid the statement to a call attention notice of Nongpo MLA Meryl Bond's aim to the caption, Day Ukhna Badang Puli Class 10, Ubakli Iyaka NLCN Kumu Chairman. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Home, Police Preston Tinsong laid a statement on a matter relating to the zero hour notice by Adalbert Nongrum. He also laid a statement on a matter relating to start question number four asked by Meryl Bonds Aim. Nongpo Emily Meryl Bonds Aim then raised a short duration discussion to the news item published in the Shillong Times dated 29th August 2023 under the caption Training Program on Potential of Natural Farming. In his address, the legislator called upon the government to establish a seed bank dedicated to indigenous seeds and traditional agricultural practices. He emphasized the necessity for a comprehensive agricultural policy and advocated for heightened awareness programs promoting natural farming. Furthermore, he underscored the importance of allocating additional provisions in the budget to support these initiatives. Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Dr. M. Amprin Lingda stated that farming in Meghalaya is still natural and organic and has been practiced as such by the local farmers for generations. She informed that the Meghalaya State Rural Livelihood Society has initiated trainings on natural farming across the state and the society has entered into an agreement with experts from Andhra Pradesh and have established 18 farmer field schools and have also trained over 35 community resource persons who are further promoting and training farmers in these areas of practice. Under the program, MSRLS has also set up 380 multi-cropped kitchen gardens. She also stated that the Department of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare has submitted the Annual Action Plan for Natural Farming to the Government of India for approval. If approved, the department will implement the scheme as per the National Natural Farming Guidelines and scale up the area under natural farming in the state. Following this, voting on supplementary demands for grants was taken up and the demands were disposed of. Seven bills were passed. The Captain William Sansangma Technical University Amendment Bill 2023, the Rajat Lal University Repealing Bill 2023, the Meghalaya Goods and Service Tax Amendment Bill 2023, the Meghalaya Loka Yukta Amendment Bill 2023, the Legislative Assembly of Meghalaya Members Pension Amendment Bill 2023, the Meghalaya Medical Council Amendment Bill 2023, and the National Law University of Meghalaya Amendment Bill 2023. Meghalaya Legislative Assembly Speaker Thomas A. Sangma announced that Nong Thamai Legislator Charles Pungrop has been elected Public Accounts Committee Chairman. It may be reminded that former Chairman Saleng Sangma resigned from the post. Following this, the Meghalaya Assembly Speaker then adjourned the House Synodai.